you guys welcome back to another video how are you doing how are you my name is annabelle and i'm so glad you are here today for another hair tutorial we love doing hair on this channel and today is going to be a really fun and simple one that is accessible for beginners wherever you are in the hair tutorial spectrum please like and subscribe this video it means so much to me when you subscribe and it just is so fun when i have other people join the family over here on the animal hooper channel so today's video is going to be super fun and i'm excited to do it because if you've been around on my channel for a while you've seen me do a lot of hair tutorials using the dyson airwrap you've seen me do some tutorials recreating what we like to call the matilda jerf um blowout here's actually a video a clip of a video i did actually on my youtube channel for that that'll be linked below it's kind of like a very curly big blowout we've been loving the blowout trend that's kind of like a recreation of the 90s people have been doing it for forever and it's so fun i feel like going into this autumn season i am kind of wanted to spice it up a little bit do something a little bit different but kind of the same at the same time because i'm not trying to be too controversial right now i'm kind of keeping in the 90s a blowout look but personally i've been loving a bit of a side part moment i've been doing so many middle parts for literally five six years my hair boom smack in the middle all day every day so i've been kind of loving a side part i've been loving wearing my hair a bit straighter i have naturally straight hair kind of taking it a bit easier on my hair but i'm still you know kind of love like rachel green side part a little bit of a blowout with those curved flicked ends and that is what i'm going to be teaching you here today it's super simple super easy a lot easier than the dyson airwrap matilda jerf blow it's a lot less curly especially if you have straight hair like me um it's kind of just easy because it's embracing what the lord himself has given you so i'm going to be teaching you how i do that um Everything I'm using will be linked on my storefront and linked below. I have a discount code for some of the brands, so all that will be linked down below so that you can get your hands on everything. Today's blowout that I just explained to you that we are doing actually is not using a blow dry or round brush. It will be using a wonderful flat iron. So that is why it is simple, it is easy. So many of you out there, like myself, I don't love doing it myself. It's hard round brushing your hair with round brush. A blow dryer is just way too much to be doing and a lot of us don't own the Dyson Airwrap because she's very expensive. So I'm going to be showing you if you just have a literal flat iron at home how to do this hair tutorial. So let's jump right in. I washed my hair. She's fresh. She is clean. I wash my hair only a few times a week so it's a big day when I do it and I'm immediately going to start by blowing in some heat protectant since we're going to be doing a whole lot to it today. Not too much heat but still heat nonetheless. This is the Unite Heat Protectant. I have a code with them, so any um, Unite products I use, feel free. If you want to buy them to get some money off, so you can save that coin and spend it somewhere else, like, you know, I don't know, happy hour with the girls or something like that. Speaking for myself. So lathering it with heat protectant, and I'm also going to put a little bit of Olaplex number no. 9 Bond Protector Nourishing Hair Serum. I've been using this the entire time I've been traveling and have been loving it. It's like a little clear gel, um, and I focused that towards my ends. This also has heat protectant in it, which we love because we love keeping our hair and nice and healthy and fresh and not frazzled. We don't have any crusty, dusty hair on this channel okay we try and keep it try and keep it clean i'm literally insert photo when my hair was dying one day but i take care of my hair now so it's all good um i'm just gonna kind of use my fingers and put that through and wipe says the excess on my rope Shh, don't tell anybody um okay and jump right in using my denman brush these are my favorite brushes just to detangle my hair and get it all ready um for a blow dry um, like I said, I'm not using a blow dryer to round brush it, but I obviously do need to get my hair dry to do the rest of my flat iron. And one thing I do love if you're doing this from a wet to dry hair like I am today is taking a mousse. A mousse has changed my life. No joke. When it comes to doing any type of blow dries or getting things to last, I have fine, silky, straight straight hair and so i always need a little extra something and this is the unite elevate mousse i've been traveling with it as well and have really been putting it to the test and i've used it multiple times it gives my hair obviously loads and loads of volume but it also gives that extra grit so i'm just gonna pump this into my hand and massage it into my roots and then begin just taking my blow dryer and completely drying my hair until it's just straight and dry it'll look kind of crazy but that is when the fun begins and we create our blowout look I literally could eat it. Oh, no. It looks like what you're So my hair is all dry, and as you'll see, 
see I kind of just blow dried it in every which direction. My top tip for getting volume, especially when you put mousse in and kind of really blow drying it in. As you'll see, I kind of always like lift my hair and take my blow dryer and blow it. I tilt my head upside down just to make sure you really get that lift. As you'll see, I really have the straightest hair and when I use mousse, if I kind of just play with it, I just end up having a lot more volume, um, which I love. So definitely recommend mousse. And then I just took um, my brush and I kind of like parted my hair slightly to the side. I've been loving it. And we're gonna jump straight into the next portion of this video. I am using, as I showed you guys, this flat iron. This is by the brand Miracomb. It's from Amazon, so it's linked there. I love it. It's like three in one. I've been able to wave my hair with this. Obviously you can flat iron your hair where if you don't have straight hair, you also can use it to curl um, and do what we're going to do today. So grab your flat iron of choice. And then literally since I'm traveling, this is hilarious, but this is real life. This is a real tea. This is what all my hair things look like. So aesthetic. Um, but you're going to need some rollers. So I have a four small rollers and four big ones in this little plastic bag. And then I've got my bag of bobby pins, which you're going to need as well. Or if you have any other type of like little metal clip that you can use for rollers, grab those and we will jump right into this. So I'm going to take my claw clip. Literally, this is the cutest claw clip ever. And I'm going to section off the top of my hair. flat iron on and again if you've been watching you know but the reason this is making that sound is not because it's about to explode um but because it blows cool air out of the covering and the heat is obviously in the inside on the flat iron portion so it kind of is cooling your hair as you're styling it which is great so my temperature that i have it on is 356 i put the top section of my hair up and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this flat iron and i'm going to focus it on my ends and really what we're trying to do is create that like round brush curved in look that we saw in the beginning of this video. So I'm gonna take my flat iron and just slightly curve those ends in like that. You can kind of go over it a few times if you need, but basically you wanna end up with something that looks like that, as you'll see. And then we're gonna set that down and then I'm gonna take the piece next to it, smooth it out, and then curve it as well, like that. I'm gonna set the flat iron down really quickly. I'm gonna take my brush and kind of just brush through those ends. And I really want it to cool in that round brush shape. So I'm now going to take one of the big rollers and I'm going to smooth it out to that bottom, making sure those ends are really tucked on there. Slightly roll it up. And I'm just gonna let it sit basically just right there because it doesn't need to go all the way up, but I'm also gonna bobby pin it in place. So I'll take the bobby pin and kind of just put it at the bottom just so it doesn't slide around. And that can kind of just sit like that. And we're gonna do that to the other side and to the rest of our layers. And it's gonna create that super round brush blowout look. One thing I would say when trying to achieve a hairstylist, a hairstyle like this, is definitely to make sure you have some layers cut in because otherwise sometimes these layers don't exactly show up very much. Um, I have a layered haircut and um, I've asked for kind of like round 90s-ish layers with a lot of face framing and curtain bangs. So I have something to work with, which is great. So now we're just on that top section and we're gonna continue doing the exact same thing, but we have four of these small rollers left. So I'm gonna use the last four, two on each side. Okay, so now all the rollers are in and we're gonna let this cool. Basically, as you'll see, all this was is taking the flat iron on those ends and taking your wrist and curving those little ends under to create kind of like that blowout flick. So we just focused the rollers on the ends because of that. So the rollers are super easy to install and take out, but we're gonna let them fully cool. I'm gonna get dressed and then we'll take them out for the final result together. Hey. Hey, cute jeans. <laughs> In his room. Okay, let's take these out. So I'm just gonna remove the bobby pin and then go for it. 
You see that? That's what we're talking about, boys and girls. Ayo, it's looking cute. <gasps> Frick, did I just like, wowzers. <laughs> Did I just get a professional blowout or? All right, so I'm just gonna rub my fingers through it. Okay, you guys, this is the blowout moment. I wanted, I needed, you can see all of my layers are popping. My hair feels healthy and soft and this literally took probably about 15 minutes-ish start to finish. Obviously I was filming and blow drying and doing all that. But even if you just did this on dry hair, Look at those layers popping through. Oh my gosh. And it just really got to be set as well by using those little rollers and bobby pins. And the rollers like didn't pull my hair because sometimes I feel like when I fully wrap my hair in rollers, I have a bit of a hard time but because it was just those ends. It's just fully perfect. So you could add a little hairspray at this point. You could just go. I'm gonna spray it a little bit with hairspray and then I'll check back in with you for my official final result. I gave it a little spray, finish it off. It is better than I honestly could have even imagined. I've done methods like this before, but I wanted to come back with the full tutorial and today it's just really home run, hit home. But I'm just gonna show you the bit of the back. Um, like and subscribe again and leave me a comment down below if you have done um, anything like this before, if you're gonna try it out if you're gonna get layers cut in your hair, because see, look how fun and honestly so easy. Um, and that's my goal always with this channel is to do things that are easy for you guys. Sometimes I might do things a bit more complicated, a bit more intricate, but also I always wanna do tutorials that just make these trending hairstyles that we all love super easy and simple for you guys. And this is your easy at home blowout using a flat iron. Um, and it's giving all the 90s vibes and we love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you. I will see you in my next one. All right, love you guys. Bye.